What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver randomized Nuzlocke where today we are going to be heading on further along our adventure, getting some more encounters and heading up to a lighthouse to see if we can heal the apparently sick Pokemon uh, that isn't feeling too good. So this is our team as it stands, obviously I have been training in between episodes because yeah, the Gyarados is level 5, Nemo is down there, Nemo is now at level 13, it still only knows Thrash and we have taught it Surf because we are going to need to Surf at some point and it is quite a good move for it to know, you know, it's not the best move because it's a bit of a physical attacker but never mind. Uh, we've got Magnazone as well, Magnazone did learn Spark uh, in between episodes and is now at level 22. Zanzibar is at level 21, all the same moves, Lucifer hasn't budged, Steffi is our other new team member at level 19, Steffi now knows Comet Punch, Sonic Boom, Quick Attack and Double Team, I'm looking forward to using that Double Team next time we face a Muck or a Grimer, so we're going to have an absolutely RNG infested battle that takes 35 minutes. And we've got Pyro's at level 23, you know, still knows Tackle, which is mad at level 23, Quick Attack, Flame Wheel, and Heat Wave. But we, now we're going to carry on a journey. I did go and buy some Great Balls in between episodes, because uh, I kind of thought they were pretty important. And I feel like, actually, before we carry on, we can get an encounter in this town. And I feel like it should be a Surf Encounter. Uh, so we're going to put Tesla out front because of Sonic Boom and being able to paralyze things. And we're going to go surf in this water. We're going to surf on Nemo. And here is our encounter. So our encounter for Eurotech City is... I'll take it. I'll take a Dust Noir. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can't use Sonic Boom, but we can use a Thunder Wave. What moves do we have that aren't going to do? I mean, you're level 18, actually. So, maybe you can. If we, Can you take a spark? Because we aren't uh, a physical Pokemon. We're special Pokemon. Spark is physical, so it shouldn't do quite as much damage. That isn't doing very much damage at all, which is quite nice. So, we'll go for another spark here. Uh, we go for one more there. I feel like we can go for one more. Maybe. Perfect. Perfect. It's paralyzed. It's in the red. Uh, we can throw a great ball at this Dusk Noir. And hopefully it will get in. Come on. Oh, it's not even a jiggle. I mean. What more do you want from us? Get in the Pokeball. We'll go for another Great Ball. we we'll go for another Great Ball. We hope for the best. One Jiggle, two Jiggles, three. Yes! Come on now. We got a Dust Noir. That's awesome. Let's see what his data is. This feared Pokemon is said to travel to worlds unknown. Some even believed it takes lost spirits along with it. Spooky. Uh, so spooky that you're going to be called Casper. Casper, the friendly ghost. No, 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 no. I don't know the words to that song. That was a pretty cool encounter, though. Uh, I, I'm okay with that encounter. Did we actually take any damage? Not really. So we're just going to carry on our journey. We did get a Casper. We'll look at it at some point. Uh, and our journey is going to take us down this way. But if you tell us, where do you say you're from? New Bart Town. That's down where Professor Elman is, right? She's got a long way to get here. Yeah, no, it's taken us like 12 whole episodes. 12? 13? 13. Route 38, south to Olivine City. Are we, is this Route 38? Oh, hold on. This is Route 38. I don't think we've had an encounter on Route 38 yet. No, the last one was Route 37. So we can get an encounter here as well. We are going to get an encounter on Route 38. What's our encounter for Route 38 going to be? It's a Flygon! That I can't paralyze. A man. 
Oh, I like Flygon. We had a Flygon in our Fire Green uh, playthrough. We can go for a couple of Sonic Booms, though. It's got a sand attack. I instantly dislike it. But it's okay. We're going to catch you anyway, and we're going to teach you better ways of battling. Oh, you've got Sonic Boom as well. Clutch. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Uh, let's just throw a great ball at you. Come on. Throw a great ball. Let's hope for the best. Here's all. Cheers for a cup of tea. How British am I? Flygon's gone in first. Go. It is nicknamed the Desert Spirit because the flapping of its wings sound like a woman singing. I mean, even more reason just to name you what you were called last time, which is Mystic. Let's call you Mystic. There we go. Awesome. And I guess now we can, uh... We can get an encounter. We can get a sand slash. Ooh. Uh, we're going to change what Pokemon we have front. I'm going to put, uh, Nemo out front so everyone can find him. And um, we're going to continue down this route if I can walk through any of it without getting encounters. Let's battle this guy. Dude, dude. Fight me. I've been overseas, so I know all sorts of Pokemon. Do you now? Do you now? I've been here in my office, so I know all of them. Lazy Noel sent out a Clam Pearl. Nemo's going to intimidate that shiny jewel. Uh, and then we're just going to switch out. It is going to be a bit of switch training, I think, for Nemo. Um, it doesn't really know anything too scary that we can attack things with apart from Thrash at the moment. The problem with Thrash is you lock yourself into a move and then you get confused and smack yourself in the face. Which is not really what I uh, I want from a Pokemon. I want it to smack others in the face, not it to smack itself in the face. Hey, are you good at Pokemon? I really hope so. I'm trying to make a living off of it. If you're really good, I want you to teach me some things. Okay. First up, let's see your Pokemon. Welcome to 101 with the uh, Snubble Sessions. The sessions are now in session. That's a good Pokemon to start with. That's a, quite a high level Pokemon for around here. So first up, you want to be trying to hit me with some sort of rock type move, which isn't going to work because I'm going to switch out and run away from you. I just don't know what in two yet. Let's go into Lucifer. This is also a Dragonfly gun. You see, what you've tried to do there is use a normal type move on a ghost. And we're like basically like transparent, translucent. I don't know. What a ghost. So uh, we're going to breathe our dragony breath all over you and then you're going to get paralyzed. A Moo Moo Milk is a good move. I'll admit that to you. It was a good it was a good idea, but we're faster than you. So you're never going to get a hit off ever again. Nemo Grooves to level 14. Session 2 of the Snubble Sessions is in session. You're going to put out a Meganium. I'm going to counter you with my own starter Pokemon with the fire. So first thing you should do if you're going to ask me for lessons is learn your type matchups and not send out a Pokemon that's going to get roasted on an open fire by a pirate. The Snubble Sessions are now closed. Thank you for attending today's Snubble Session session. We've beaten Strongman and... Um, and, uh, yeah, no, I don't want your phone number. Absolutely not. Stay away from me. You klutz. Don't know why she's a klutz, but what we're calling her. Let me try something I learned today. Is it all just school kids down here that want lessons and want to, like, show me what they've learned? It seems that way. We've got a Sonova coming out. Once again, Nemo can go out there, intimidate it. Oh, snow warning. It's faster than me. Obviously, though, it's six levels above me. So what am I expecting? Uh, let's go out into Pyro. I think you're four times weak to fire. Enjoy this. We're going to see snow versus icy wind here. It's icy wind that ones that slows you down. I can't remember. Yes, it is. We are so, but I feel like we should. Should. And we do. Outspeed a snow when we're three levels above and a fast sprightly little pyro that was a pitiful sound as it went down then cool trainer robin you're uh you are trash a trash cool trainer robin 
Let's get over to this other trainer, guys. Oh, no. We're going to get an encounter. Yo. It's a Uxie. Uh, I feel like I can run away from you. We're going to battle this person. No, we're not. It's another Uxie. Um, let's talk to this one. Hi, I'm new cute trainer. May I see your Pokemon? You may. You guys may also see my Pokemon, but only if you subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you get told by YouTube whenever I upload content and you can follow along with all of it. And on a serious note, guys, if you do enjoy uh, today's content, please do drop a like down below. As always, really helps out the channel. And I much appreciate it if you do enjoy it and aren't already subscribed, please subscribe as well. Um, as I've said, you can press the notification bell and YouTube will tell you whenever I upload. Which is always nice when you're trying to follow someone. But for now, let's uh, get smacked about by this Lucario. Let's get paralysed. I've never seen a Pokemon get paralysed as much as Zanzibar does. It seems like he's been paralysed, like... Constantly for like the last four episodes. Uh, oh yeah, fun fact. In between episodes, I found a shell belt. Uh, I've given it to Zanzibar so when he hit things, he can uh, he can absorb some of their health. I, I don't want to know how he's doing this, but somehow he can absorb some of their health. Maybe he's like sucking it back out for a straw. I don't really know how this works, um, but either way, he's gonna stay a healthy boy. Cricketoot is going Cricketoot, Cricketot. I think it's Cricketot. Brr, 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 brr. Nemo grows to level 15. Nemo's getting there. And we've beaten Cyclist Jasmine, which is an ironic name, considering she doesn't have a bike. Unless somebody stole a bike. Maybe Team Rocket stole a bike. Who knows? What have we got over here? A Root Fossil free static encounter. That's what we like to see. I genuinely have no memory of where you get... Uh, of where you get fossils turned back into Pokemon in this game. I think we might have another fossil actually as well. I feel like I've already said this at some point in the series. It's a Yamega. We've got one of those. We are going to intimidate it and we are going to drop straight back out into Pyro. Uh, so I know that Yamega has Sonic Boom. I think it already had Sonic Boom at this point. I can't remember what level it actually learned it. So we just got to be wary of that potential 20 health hit uh we've missed our heat wave it's a good time we've, we've drawn wow pro plays pro plays pro plays i applaud you pro plays uh i mean we actually did a decent amount of damage there to be fair uh there is no way i'm staying in on a whale lord tesla can't really take a hit right now so we're gonna go out into lucifer don't forget to hydrate ladies and gentlemen watching at home We are going to have to take a roll out there, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I guess we go for a dragon breath. Breathe our foul dragony breath all over this Waylord. It does not much more damage than a fire type move did, but it's fine. We survive. We live to fight another day. Pyro goes to level 24. Did that just say defense curl? Why are you level 24? Why are you trying to learn defense curl? Yes, give up on defense curl. That's an absolute trash move. It's a Fion, but we're going to swap out into Nemo first. Right, so we have intimidated this Fion. I need to re-click on here so my joypad moves, because I had to just fit around my volume a second. Going behind, breaking the fourth wall there. We go back out into Lucifer again, I guess. Uh, this is a slightly irritating battle, if I'm honest. We're going to Dragon Breath to Fion. We're going to paralyze the Fion. We're going to Dragon Breath to Fion again. Fion is not going to go down to a Dragon Breath, so we're going to throw some rocks at its head, and it's gone down. Uh, we go back out into Nemo, because Nemo wants some of this nummy, 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 nummy experience. Uh, I mean, we could try and thrash here. No, I don't want to risk it. Uh, we go back out into Lucifer, and we'll throw some rocks at this thing's head. Sonic Boom doesn't affect me, peasant. Peasant. You're dealing with Satan here. You think you can Sonic Boom me and take 20 HP off of Satan? Think that's how this is going down? Anyway, let's go this way. Uh, do we have to go back up and then around? 
I think so. Oh, it's a Beldum. It's a Beldum. We're going to run away from you. Uh, let's try... Let's try and go anywhere without getting any cancer. Oh, look. It's a Uxie again. Just because of this, I'm going to try and thrash. Endure. Another thrash. Rest. Another thrash. We're confused. Is it worth? Probably not. I thought I'd try it. But I I'm not messing around that long. One well, route 39. So we can theoretically get another encounter here. Hello. Oh, what you are holding is what they call a Pokedex. I haven't seen one of those in ages. My name is Boaba. I used to run a safari zone in Future City, but it was becoming out of date with new entertainment options coming out. I decided to go overseas to learn the newest technology and open a state-of-the-art safari zone in Cianwood. Maybe more than a coincidence that we are chatting. Why don't we register each other's numbers in the poker gear? I can give you a call once the safari zone is open before I call anyone else. Dude, you don't even know me. That's the way. I mean, I'll take it, but you, you've you never met me before. Absolute stranger. Children, don't talk to strangers. Let's just go over this way. We can get an apricorn here. An apricorn tree. I don't know why I get these. I'm never going to do anything with them. Uh... Let's go in here. Hello. My milk tank ain't giving me milk and more. This deer farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. You'd give me lots of milk if I feed it lots of berries, I reckon. The milk even goes out to Kanto. With our new milk tank, won't give us any milk. We're in trouble. I would say so. Your whole business is going down the, uh, down the toilet. Um, no, I don't want to have my picture taken. Leave me alone. Jeez. What is over here? TM37 water spout. Is it actual water spout though? I feel like it is because I can't see we would be meant to be getting water spout at this point in the game. The lower the user's HP, the less powerful it becomes. So if we're at full HP though, I mean, I'm teaching it to Nemo. There's, I mean, I know, again, it's another special move, but that's like, that feels like a bit of an OP move for this uh, point in the game, maybe? Let's, let's battle this guy. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. Sure, get right to it. Hydrate. We're challenged by entrepreneur Kimberly, who sends out a Chansey. I mean, it's fractionally better than a Blissey, but not a lot better than a Blissey. I don't feel like you can do anything to me, though. So, um, let's throw some water at you. That does literally nothing. Ah, oh, so annoying. Uh, what do we even go out into? Zanzibar? Pyro, maybe? Are you weaker on the defensive or the special side? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I mean, we'll do that. that. That'll do. Soft boiled. How dare you eat your eggs in front of my face. Eating eggs in front of somebody's face. Stop it. Like, what am I even meant to do here? Apart from hope that I burn you. Oh, okay. I mean, I could do that. That's not what I was expecting. Nemo does get to level 16, though, which is quite nice. And Entrepreneur Kimberly is going to send out to Viper. I'm going to switch back out into Nemo because Nemo would like some experience, please. And then Sir Viper can get bodied by Zanzibar. If you don't mind. You can't poison me. I'm already paralyzed, look. Oh, that was a horrible sound. No wonder it lowers your defense. Super effective magnitude, though. Magnitude 8. And that survivor is gone, so let me get some health back using our shell bell. Sucking the HP out of that survivor. Again, I don't really know how we get HP back from it, but we do. Uh, we can get an encounter there, but to be honest, right now my team is like a bit of a mess. So we're not going to do that yet. Oh, come on, you look, you should be able to beat this ride on. I know you're a level below. But really, this realistically should be beating this ride on here. Get on. It's Nemo's first blood. 
Nemo's first kill of the uh, of the series is a Q bone as well, which let's be honest, you can beat that too. Thank you much, Lee. And it's a Werber Dam. Probably could beat you, but it would be irritating AF to sit here and do it. So blame really is as soon as you stop protecting yourself, you trashy little bug. We've beaten beaten Jimmy. We've got some more trainers here to beat. I've avoided one of them. I've avoided one of them so I can get to a Pokemon Center. We're going to see a Sand Slash again. Can we just Water Spout it, maybe? I hope. I feel like we can just Water Spout it. We can. Nemo's, Nemo's getting there now. Grown to level 18. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you much, Lee. Love a good Gyarados. Olivine City. And there is the gym. I just want to get to Pokemon Center. Oh no. Ba, 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 ba. You again. There's no need to be. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, City's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the warehouse. Warehouse? Right house. I can't talk. Look at me. My voice. I have red hair. I don't know what a lighthouse is. <laughs> Boo hoo. Just let sick people go. Oh my goodness, why can't I read? Sick Pokemon or sick people, I'm evil. I don't care who dies. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows, it might make you a bit of a better trainer. It might do. You never know. Seems like a good place as any to go train, to be honest. Where's the Pokemon Center though? There's the Pokemon Center. Now, we are definitely, next episode, be going up that lighthouse to go retrieve that, um, that gym leader. Or start retrieving a gym leader, anyway. But before we do that, we need to end this episode. But before we do that, don't go away yet. If you've already clicked off of this episode, you're missing a trick. And you can't hear me because you've already left. But I'm going to shout at you anyway. Come back! We are going to go get the encounter, which is up here for Route 39. Because uh, there was a patch of grass over here. So we're going to get our encounter here. Well, I wanted to heal my Pokemon. Our encounter for Route 39 is going to be... A Nidorino. Now, I'm not mad at that at all, actually. I I'm a big fan of a Nidoking. How much is that doing? That's doing under half. That's good. Cool. We can Thunder Wave you. Uh, we can go with another Sonic Boom that we're going to miss, but we can try again. We're in the red. That's lovely. Let's throw a Great Ball at you. What would we nickname a Nidorino? Obviously going to turn into a Nidor King. Hopefully at some point. Um, let's have a look at its data first. Quick to anger, it stabs enemies with its horn to inject a powerful poison when it becomes agitated. Sounds uh, lovely. What are we going to call this Nidor Rhino? Uh, I mean, you're going to turn into a king and um, you sound a bit evil. So, uh, is that how we spell Joffrey? It's not with a Q. Is this how we spell Joffrey? Let me just have a double check a second. Joffrey. We're going to call this Nidorino Joffrey. Awesome. Would almost be tempted to put it in the party, but it's an absolute pain to train anything because of how low the Pokemon are. Like the Pokemon levels, I mean. Um, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. I wonder if it has a good nature. Let's have a look a second. Does it have a good nature? Let's move items. Oh, there's a few items in here, actually, to be fair. What does that Megaton have? It has a fossil! Oh my god! So the Magneton is literally holding a Pokemon. Theoretically. Oh, yeah. If I can work out where to... Like turn. Do I have to get into? Do I have to get into Kanto in order to do that? Like possible. Uh, for the moment, I just want to have a look at Nidorino. Let's have a look at Nidorino. It's got a careful nature. 
I don't know nature's why I have this which is amazing trust me trust me it's actually great uh careful nature it raises its special defense it lowers special attack but I think this is pretty much physical Pokemon anyway it's got rivalry which raises attack if the foe is of the same gender so that's pretty cool Peck, Focus Energy, Double Kick, and Poison Sting. Joffrey, if we lose a Pokemon, I would be happy to have you on the team. But for now, we haven't lost a Pokemon. So you're just going to have to stay in there forever. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring this episode to a close. If you have enjoyed it, please, please do drop a like down below it does really help out the channel and why not subscribe while you're down there press a little notification bell again it helps the channel out and you get to keep watching the content plan out there is some exciting stuff uh if you can work out after this series i am bringing in a new series of a new rule format but it's going to be based on something else i enjoy as well see if you can work it out there are clues all over the place until next time though thank you very much for watching guys and we'll see you soon bye